Well, good morning, and today is Saturday, the 17th of September, 2022, and I'm out here with uh, uh, Remy at the dog yard here at the Wairika RV Park, and so we're just out here, and she's taking care of what she needs to take care of, and then uh, we're going to grab some breakfast, and then we're going to go on a little, um, little hike today, probably nothing too strenuous. I, Actually, there's a river near here that I want to go check out. Um, and then uh, got some dog rescue sort of stuff to do. Got some igloos to go pick up. And then I'm going to put a trailer hitch on the Jeep. Um, so it's going to be a busy weekend, but it's going to have a lot of variety to it. So that's good. And uh, spend a little time with Remy because uh, I had uh, a week or so there that... I was up early and out and then I was up not late but um, I would go out after work so that was kind of a drag for her so we're gonna go out and do something fun for her today and then uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do some dog videos at Rescue Ranch so it's gonna be a full weekend so hopefully I'll capture some of it to go along with this video have a great day well Remy and I are out here at the Klamath River uh, right adjacent uh, it's on the opposite side of I-5 from a uh, rest area and just coming out for a little little walk around outside today and just checking it out so here's Remy and I there's the Jeep up there and the Klamath River So I'm out here uh, driving along the Klamath River and this, this road is a well-traveled road, but uh, it's a dirt road, gravel road sort of thing. And my observation is that the additional weight of the Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Wrangler 4xe really makes roads like this about as smooth a ride as you could ask for uh, on a dirt road. It's very solid, very smooth road. So just really enjoying this experience. Um, tooling back here on this dirt road on electric right now. And just kind of just kind of checking it all out. So there's a little bit of an incline there. I'd actually have to put it in four low to get it out of there, or four wheel drive at least to get it out of there. Remy's on the hunt for something. She's pulling daddy this way. Something she wants to sniff. A lot of foam in the water. Not sure what the cause of that is, but you notice on the bank over there, there's some foam that's gathered up over there. Damn pollutants. Okay, well, we're gonna try going up this hill here. Right now I'm just in two wheel drive, but uh, we'll see what ends up happening here. It's heavy, so there might be more than enough on the back end. Oop, nope. Okay. So now we're in four wheel high auto. We're going to actually back it up a little bit. So that we have a little bit of momentum at it. Just like that, 
no problem. Two-wheel drive wasn't going to make it, but four-wheel auto, four-wheel high auto did just fine. There's some ducks out there on the river. I need to come down here in the springtime. Um, we're supposed to get some rain this weekend, which would be really nice. But I'm not sure what causes all the foam in the river, but it's kind of sad. It's very sad, actually. Not kind of. It's very sad. And that ditch that I pulled out of back there, uh, or that low spot, did that just on the electric motor, the, the battery and the electric motor. So that was, that's pretty cool. It's a very capable platform. Very happy with uh, how capable the platform is. There's a little rock formation in there that's causing it. Not really a rapids, but just kind of an agitation of the water. So I reached this sign that said uh, that the next mile of road down here is trespassing on property. And it's not that you're not permitted. It looks like they're granting you permission. They just want you to be very careful and respectful, and I get that. But it's getting to the point to where I was going to turn around anyway. So I'm working on turning around. And... I this platform I've got a backup monitor that tells me what's going on behind the Jeep and then um, of course you know I'm able to see on the front windshield easily what's going on in front of the Jeep but it's just a really nice capable platform I'm really enjoying uh, tooling around in this and doing a little of a little bit of exploring so we're gonna head out now. I've got a gonna swing by the uh, rest area here for a minute to take some B-roll for a marketing video I'm gonna work on, and then uh, head back into town. But this has been very pretty. It's it's just really nice down here. The uh, dash thermometer says that it's uh, 48 degrees out which I believe it, but considering that just a little over a week ago, uh, we were well in excess of 100 um, in the high point of the day, and granted it's only 8, 10 this morning, but we were lucky to get down into the mid-60s at night, so um, this is just really uh, refreshing to get out and check this out. morning today is saturday the 24th of september 2022 and remy and i are out here in montague and we're going to watch um some balloon ascension this morning um haven't done this since we were in arizona lake havasu um wow i haven't done that for probably five or seven years since my sister uh, Karen and, and brother-in-law Mike traveled with Carol and I to Quartzsite, we stopped at Lake Havasu to go see a balloon launch. So looking forward to seeing that today. Uh, it's uh, 6.02 a.m. Uh, I know that uh, i got to get out here early to take these sort of things in because it's cool to see the envelopes inflated uh, um, early in the morning. So stay tuned as to what we see. And, uh, yeah, huh. how are I mean, you got anything to say, baby girl? She says, Dad, thanks for bringing me along, Dad. So, stay tuned. Well, here we are in Montague, and it's kind of hard to see what's going on out there. You can see a few things lit up, but we've got uh, vehicles unpacking their hot air balloons. Um getting ready for 
uh, cold inflation with the blower fans and then they'll start heating the envelopes. Uh, it's uh, about 6.15 on Saturday morning. Excuse me, it's 6.09 Saturday morning. So we will uh, kind of take some progression video as this moves forward. One of the things that surprised me this morning as I was driving through Montague coming out here was the number of deer that I saw in the town of Montague. I realize it's not a thriving metropolis, but I saw a couple of six point bucks this morning and I was like, whoa, you guys are big. But uh, yeah, just uh, nice and peaceful out here. I think the weather's gonna be perfect for, uh, for flying, so this is gonna be beautiful today. And we're doing cold inflation. There it goes, putting warm air in it.
anyone. Well, I'm out here at Rescue Ranch and I'm here to pick up a trailer, which you can see behind me, but I also brought out some um, igloo kennels, uh, dog houses basically, uh, returned them from County Shelter to Rescue Ranch because Rescue Ranch is one of the County Shelter. And so I returned those and now I'm going to get the trailer back, but I want to see how the camera system is going to help me to back up to the hitch. One problem is, is I can't see the hitch ball on the camera, so I can only get so far back and then I gotta go manually look. But I should be close. So this is gonna be the first pull test on the Jeep. I wish I had a double drop, a two or a three inch drop hitch on that, but I'm not going very far and I know the spots to watch out for, so. I should be okay. But I'm loading all of these kennels that are stacked up over here against the fence, as well as the ones that are made up of four foot panels over here, the short black panels. Um, loading those into this trailer and uh, Get it loaded up and back to the uh, back to the county storage yard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, oh, I'm just trying to. Yeah, okay, well we got the trailer all loaded and the Jeep is uh, hooked up and lights worked. So uh, we're 
ready to head back towards Siskiyou County's storage yard. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of mods to my Jeep uh, Wrangler 4xe, but one of them that I am going to do is I'm going to be replacing the hood latches with lockable versions like these. And as you can see, one of them installed already. Uh, and now I'm going to be install <coughs> excuse me, installing the other one on the other side here. Um, just because occasionally I go to the city and I don't want uh, somebody popping the hood and disconnecting the battery at least easily. I realize that all it's doing is keeping the semi-honest people honest, or at least the non-professionals honest. If somebody really wants it bad enough, they'll pull it up on a flatbed and they'll roll away with it. But uh, hopefully, if nothing else, it'll slow them down. That's, uh, that's the one... One of the few mods I did this, I'm doing this, and then I also did the trailer hitch on the back. And I had mentioned that I was gonna do that, but I don't think I ever showed it. Um, the hitch turned out fine. The brake light uh, cable, I wanna come up with a, a better way of affixing that up in there. But uh, um, at any rate, I have used the trailer saw. Uh, in another segment on this video, I pulled a, uh, Office of Emergency Services trailer behind the Jeep today. And uh, so, you know, that worked out fine. And I think that's gonna be about the extent of the mods that I'm gonna do to this Jeep, because pretty much it's uh, perfect in every other way. And here we go. So I've got them both installed here. It's a little hard to do one-handed, but I've got that up on there. And there it goes like that. And then my key, I will lock it, it's now locked, and it's not opening. So like I said, it'll keep the honest people honest, um, or slow down somebody who's trying to steal it. So there we go. Well, hi there. Today is the 24th of September, 2022, and I'm out. It is 7.18 p.m. I just got back from the shelter, and it says that it's going to take 16 hours and 33 minutes for the Jeep. My experience is, is that it usually takes maybe 12 hours, if that much, to charge. Um, I'm going to make an effort to come out here by about 7 a.m. tomorrow, Sunday morning, and see if it's fully charged at that point. That would be 12 hours. Um... And then we'll kind of see how it goes uh, from there. But my suspicion is it'll take an hour, or I'm sorry, it's not going to take 16 hours uh, as it estimates to charge. And I am charging off the motorhome, uh, which is hooked up to shore power. So it's still 120 volts off of shore power. But you know, I'm not running a, a level two charger or anything. So it'll be interesting. We'll check it out in the morning and I'll let you know what happens. Have a good evening. <coughs> Well, it is about 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. It's been 12 hours and 45 minutes, but uh, there's no little blue lights on the front of the Jeep, so it obviously finished charging. So it definitely didn't take the 16 hours that it estimated, so that's good. So we're in a, a Fairfield by Marriott uh, Hotel, and a nice room. Um, there's actually four pillows that come with the bed, but uh, I got three of them out of the way so that Remy won't soil them. And then I've got this top sheet that I'm gonna cover the bed with to uh, try and keep the dog hair to a minimum. So there's the top sheet on the bed to keep the dog hair on the bed to a minimum. So um, I've never had Remy pee inside, but she's sniffing the carpet up something fierce. So I'm hoping she doesn't decide to mark it. We'll see what happens. Well, there's Remy having breakfast. And uh, last night was uneventful, which was nice. 
she uh, was a good girl and uh, so she's having her breakfast and I've got my uh, breakfast over here ready to go and then we'll do a little working this morning and then we'll check out and then we'll eventually go to my meeting uh, the, uh, the stay here has been was nice it was quiet it was uh, you know uneventful so that's that's a good thing so uh, I've got my meeting today and then I will head back to Wairika this afternoon well today is Monday the 25th or 26th of I guess it's 26th I think I worked on it. yeah 26th of September 2022 I'm here in Sacramento I came down for a team meeting um, one person can't make the meeting um, because they're out sick. Another person is actually leaving the team. Another person has to take their kids to soccer. So there's just probably going to be two of us meeting today. <laughs> the boss, Louie, uh, which that's fine. I'm looking forward to meeting him. And uh, myself. So the two out-of-towners were getting together in Sacramento. <laughs> and everybody else that lives in the area is going to be gone. So... Uh, it is what it is, as they say. Um, and then, uh, so Louie and I will meet for dinner, and then I will head home back to Wairika. So, um, being just the perfect little Remy that she always is. And she lays there, and she's not going to wag her tail right now, but because she, she knows. Um, yeah, she is doing great on this trip, and just being the, the great dog that she always is. So, I'm going to move my office now out to the Jeep um, so that I'm ready for some some meetings this morning and then uh, then we'll go from there so uh, that's probably the last I'm gonna do report in I'll probably report in uh, uh, when I get ready to get head home and then also when I do head home because I'm going to be curious about the mileage that I got but that's where we're at and uh, we'll touch in soon at least we know now um, how speed has an impact on mileage on the vehicle um, was I was really happy with the mileage I was getting on the way down I could tell by the distance I was traveling and how fast the tank was draining which wasn't very fast at all and then on the way back I was uh, disappointed as to how fast the tank was draining so any rate lessons learned um, Love the vehicle, drives great, rides great, very comfortable, um, very happy with it. So that's all for now. Take care. Bye-bye. So this is how they kill weeds here at the uh, Wairika RV Park. They burn them, which I guess that's an approach that doesn't leave a toxin behind on the bed. So... Uh, not something I ever thought about, but I, I just wonder how much propane they go through to do this.